Hello, in today's video about the stock market, I'm going to be talking about some useful stock market strategies that will help you maximize your investing um, if you're just getting started in the stock market. So, one of the most common strategies that you hear about when investing is buy low, sell high. This is the fundamental knowledge you must know to really get the most out of your investing. So if a stock is, if you're looking at a stock's price and it looks pretty low, it's usually a good time to buy because that means the stock has room to grow higher for when you want to sell. Because you want to sell high and gain a profit on the money that you paid, the little money that you paid to buy low. So you buy low, sell high to maximize your profit. For example, this is Amazon Corporation here. This is their stock. It's going a little bit on the low side right now. Um, it's not that low. See, if you go to the six month graph down here in the early part of the month here, it was really low. This would have been a good time to buy. And you can see it's now going back up. So whoever bought around the first of the month here, they now gained a large profit because the stock has gone up very high. Another strategy is research companies before purchasing shares of the stock. So, for example, if you want to purchase an Amazon, 10 shares of Amazon, you'd want to look at some of the news articles for Amazon before you purchase, in case, for example, something bad happened to the company. So, for example, this Amazon situation, it looks like Amazon's doing pretty well. Um, Amazon is a trending stock, according to this uh, article here. Top research reports for Amazon. And there are lots of articles that are studying Amazon and showing that the data is good. This is the kind of stuff you want to look at before you buy a stock. Because it will tell you if it's a good choice or not. It will tell you what's going on so that you can help understand if it's going up or going down and why that is. And the next thing you want to do is research analyst opinions. And the analyst opinions, at least on this website, Yahoo Finance, are going to be towards the bottom here. Research analysis for Amazon. The earnings per share is very important, as you can see whether the company has been making or losing money per quarter. Amazon's doing well. They've beat their earnings goal every single quarter for the past four quarters or more. And then the analyst recommendations. Um, popular analysts will tell you strong buy, buy, hold the stock, it's underperforming, or to sell the stock. A lot of buy orders for this year's stock in the green 39 40 analysts this month 28 um and here's the price targets you can see what people predicted the average and the high low price for the stock is right now it's toward the lower end so it makes sense that it's a good time to maybe buy the stock it would not be a good time to sell the stock because it's not really that high yet the next important thing is look at the graph of the stock Especially the time graph, because you see you have different options here. This is us today, from stock market open to stock market close. It's been up and down, but mostly down towards the end of the day. But the really important thing is the five day, three month, and more, because it helps you understand the stock's direction on a larger scale. In the past few days, the stock really took a jump around August 15, as you can see. Yeah, which means it's on the rise. Over the three month period, you can see the ups and downs of the stock, where it started to get low. You can go even farther, six months, year to date, one year, five years. You can even see all the way back about 10 years or when the company was founded. This Amazon was founded all the way back. It was uh, taken public in 1997. So you can see all the way here at the very beginning, and then starting to grow and rise rapidly. Another important strategy um, when looking at stock prices is to look at the Dow Jones and S&P 500 indexes. So these are just basically indexes that allow you to compare um, the price of the stock you're researching with the overall price of the market. These two right here are pretty important. And the NASDAQ too. The NASDAQ is a stock exchange. So the Dow 30 is a list of industrial 30 companies and basically shows the trend of the overall stock market basically in the last few days or today or whatever. So it, it helps you see in comparison to this company, for example, Amazon, to the overall stock market. So if Amazon is doing bad and you have the S&P 500 index and Dow 30 are doing good, then something's wrong with Amazon, not the entire stock market. 
But if everything's down at once, then something must be going on with the stock market, like an e economical issue. And of course, the S&P 500 is a list of 500 companies that are used as indexes. And again, the NASDAQ is a stock exchange. Um, you also want to avoid panic selling. And panic selling is when, when you see the stock of a price, I mean, the, the price of a stock begin to crash like crazy, like it did with Amazon around here, like it goes all the way down. You do not want to panic sell around that time, because if you had panic sold, you would have been like, oh no, I just missed out on all this gaining along here. If you had sold, you would have not be, been able to earn the profits going up here that you would have been able to earn if you hadn't sold the stock. So after, when you sell, the stock price usually goes up after selling. So that's why you do not want to panic sell unless it's just going to be so bad. Like, for example, you're going into a recession. Everyone agrees that it's a recession and you just want to sell because you want to get out of it. Um, and you also, another important tool you have at your disposal that you can use on the broker side of the situation is limit sales and limit buys. And your broker controls this. Your broker allows you to use a limit sell. And what this is, is it's a way for you to tell the broker, I'm only going to sell this stock for you or however many of shares when the price gets to a certain amount because you want to sell high, of course. So right now, Amazon's at 177.06. You can set a limit sell for Amazon at $181, for example. You Basically, you're saying that you only want to sell X number of shares of Amazon once it gets to 181 because you want to make some money. You don't want to sell it right now because it's too low. You can also run that in reverse and call it a limit buy. So if you don't want to buy Amazon right now, if you think it's too expensive, or like, for example, something that's really high right now, this Fubo TV stock, it's going super high. You do not want to buy this stock right now because it's so high and going up. If it ever goes down, you want to be able to buy that. So you set a limit buy of, say, $1.2 in this case. So when the stock price goes back down to $1 and maybe something like that, $1.250, the stock will automatically be bought for you on behalf of the broker, and this will allow you to buy low and sell high. So that's the complete list of basic stock market strategies for you to get started with investing. These will help you maximize your profit and make the most of your stock market investing.